making some dinner. I'm also like cleaning up as well. Um, I am currently, oh, should I do my um, corning porridge now and then bring it to work tomorrow? I'm honestly tired of the oats porridge. I'm tired of the oats. I've been eating oats like crazy. I did buy like milk and stuff to make corning porridge. I'm thinking, do I do it now? Nah, we're not doing it now. Anywho, I'm currently also editing like a, a video for my TikTok. Um, so I need to finish that up and I need to wash the dishes. I need to make some rice and I also need to I have some ribs in the oven. So I'm going to have some ribs today as well. I've also done my returns today. Today I was going to the post. I had to make two trips because one of the parts of the one with the rug, I did return the rug, the runner that I got for my kitchen. I did return it and I brought that part to the post office, but I forgot that I didn't put the the return label on so i had to come back and then i went there like not too long ago to the post office before it closed to kind of like return that because otherwise i'm not sure when i'm gonna get to return it because on the weekend it is probably the, they're probably gonna close early because it's before christmas i don't know so i was like let me not risk it and let me just return it from now so i've returned that hopefully in the new year when they have like post christmas sale I can find something i will like start looking again to see what else i can find but yeah i done my returns today i have all my returns even though i've got amazon post that i have there for four weeks that i needed to return i feel like an adult so i was like yeah i felt like an adult a responsible adult doing my returns so if you have returns at home go and return the parcel so you can get your money back in your pocket I'm going to finish edit this TikTok because I didn't edit it last night. You know, I like to make sure that I edit my videos like when I do them. Otherwise, they just sit there and I'm like, oh, the ideas and everything sometimes just go because at the moment I have a vibe in my head as to how I want to do voiceover for this, edit it, that sort of thing. But if I let it wait too long, that creative spot that I had is just going to go. So I like to just make sure that I edit them there and then. So I'm going to like do this quickly and then start washing up the dishes and stuff. This is what my ribs looking like i just took it out of the oven i need to like put my barbecue sauce on it so i have like this barbecue sauce i'm gonna like chuck it over it oh i should have gone and put my rice you know oh i was i went to the shop to get some rice and i was in between should i get some rice that i could just chuck in the oven in the microwave and just warm up get some pick up my pick up rice i'm half a cook and now i regret it so I'm like, why did I pick up this rice? Like, I don't feel like cooking any extra rice. I did feel for those chocolate ribs in the microwave, in the oven, and let it do its thing. Even though the rice now affects me, I'm just a bit lazy, but not every day, not every day. <laughs> I always use like a file paper in my tray because who has time to scrub, scrub? Not me. So I always use the file paper so that way it, I can wash the tray like very easily when my, when may I wash it because otherwise you're just gonna have food stuck in on your trays and then it just get all crusty and then it's hard to wash. Oh no I don't have any barbecue sauce. I do like I do like putting my own barbecue sauce barbecue sauce with some honey and then some barren sauce on top to just mix with their sauce but i don't have any barbecue sauce actually i do i do have barbecue sauce but they're way around this one we'll go for the chair for climb up guys i'm feeling so lazy today i'm feeling so lazy today i have a barbecue sauce that my dad got from jamaica and he gave it to me it's one of them good barbecue sauce but honestly it's all, away, it's all the way around the back and I don't feel like climb up today. So this is what the the ribs is looking like. It's smelling really good. My ribs is finished. I really did not time that properly because we could have done the rice as well. But this is the rice that I got from the shop. Um, it's just the tilda rice. Just gonna make some of this for today and tomorrow for lunch. I'm gonna be so sleepy after having ribs for lunch tomorrow, but you know what? Gotta do what we gotta do because I'm not making anything else. 
and I'm also actually I do have something else could bring I have some chicken in the fridge I could just pop it in the air fryer and bring that but I just don't have any sauce we'll have to be ketchup I'm gonna bring my ribs so I'm gonna have some ribs for lunch tomorrow but I know I'm gonna be sleepy I'll just have some tea or something some English breakfast tea I think there's coffee in there but you never really do know for me to be fair um, I'm done editing my video actually I'm done well I'm I'm done editing the video for TikTok I need to go back in and make it shorter for Instagram because I make it like a little bit longer for TikTok and then I need to go in and kind of like clip it down and make it shorter for Instagram that way I can put like music on top of it for, for Instagram while I leave it as it is with like natural sounds for TikTok so I need to go in and finish that but I just want to like hurry and just make the rice and then I can like do that quickly as well I got love, love. the shower oh this place small i'm about to like have my dinner also guys i spent yesterday like painting which was so nice um so i was painting the canvas that i got from the um from the craft store and it was honestly so nice i'm not like happy with the painting itself but the whole process of like painting it was just so therapeutic so i was like you know what even if this doesn't look good right now the whole like process of like doing this is just so so therapeutic so i really enjoyed painting yesterday um for the painting though for the work that i did i think i'm gonna put like a solid cover color over it because i'm no artist i'm gonna put a solid cover color over it so i'm gonna have to like buy some paint but i just wanted this i just need to decide like what color paint i'm going to get and then i'll just paint over it with like a paintbrush and some solid color and I will have it there. You can't go wrong with that. But I'll show you the painting anyway. I think the color that I use for the main color, I didn't I didn't want it that dark. I'm guessing it's a little bit too dark for my space. So I wanted to oh, this is a lot of rice spreader. I don't want this much rice right now. Yeah, so the color that I use, it's a little bit too dark for my space. I wanted something a little bit maybe lighter, something that's gonna pop. So I need to like try and find some paint to like paint that over. I'm gonna have this other part that I have in the fridge. I don't want it to, to go off. I already feel like it's going off. It's a little bit soft. Dang it. I hate when my food just go off. But then when you live alone, then it's like... It's just happened, you know? Yeah, this is off. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you can eat this, but I don't want to eat this. So this is off. I'm not buying a pack of two next time. I'm just going to buy one. And each time if I need it, I'll just go to the shop and buy another one. Because I just can't be out. So I've currently, I've done eating for a while now. But I've just been like on my sofa listening some, listening to some lo-fi Christmas music. On the TV. I don't know if you can see. Um, just listening to that and I'm, I've all, I've started like going through like goals and stuff for next year I was like since I'm in the mood let me just do it I like to do these things when I'm kind of like in the floor go with the vibe type of thing but I haven't gone in and done everything yet but I just kind of want to share with you guys like the process that I'm going to be taking to kind of like plan let me turn this down to kind of like plan or think about things that I want to achieve in like the new year so I basically wrote down like a list and I have like a list of items here that I put on my book I started like a new notebook from maybe like last month I started a new notebook so anyways beside the point I wrote down like a list of items that I think that you know I can work on or that I want in the new year um, or want to achieve as well in the new year and I wrote that down things that I need to do as well wrote that down on that list which is about say two pages 
and then the next thing that I need to go ahead and do I've also have like some steps here that I'm going to be doing next so the next couple of days when I have like time set aside I'm going to be just focusing on this and I'm going to just share like the steps with you guys so I have here list items that you want to achieve so I wrote down those items um just now and then reflect on 2023 I always tend to do this I like to just kind of like even like go through my photos as well so sometimes you kind of like forget stuff um revisit like moments that kind of bring certain feelings out of you and kind of like just reflect on that but what I particularly do is um I tend to like write down stuff like how my 2023 went express gratitude for how the year went kind of like look back on the goals that I did set as well back in say 2022 and kind of see like what I achieve and what I haven't achieved and whatever I don't didn't achieve if it still a kind of aligns with me if I still kind of like still want to achieve it then I can bring it over to the new year but I always go ahead and kind of like reflect and just express gratitude as well. What did I write? So what would I have done differently? So um, so I write on stuff like what do I think I would have done differently this year after I wrote down like, like my gratitudes and stuff and things that I liked about the year. And then with the list that you created, write a day in the life like you've already have the things that you've added to the list. So basically... You kind of like manifesting in a sense. So you're kind of like writing things like it's already yours. So I'm going to do that with the list that I've created. Like write down everything that I want in like a day in the life. Like I already have those things. And that just kind of like put your mind in like a different place basically. And just normally when I do this, I just go with the flow of what I'm like thinking at the moment like I don't go into it thinking that that's what I'm gonna write sometimes it just flow out and things just come out once I put like pen to paper so I really like doing this so I'm gonna do this with like the things that I've wrote down that I want to achieve just kind of like write it down like I've already got it like it's already mine and then the goals that I did have on it, this kind of come at the top of the list actually so the goals that I did write down I normally go in and kind of like put them in different categories so for example you have finance you have like career you have health and fitness you kind of like separate them in like different categories and then you put each goal under there some of the goals as well they're like bigger goals so I like to separate like my bigger goals for example if one of my goals is say to make to get 100k subscribers on YouTube oh my gosh I have like 10k I haven't even mentioned that to you guys it's 10,000 of us on YouTube now that is basically was one of my goals for this year and we've hit the goal before the end of the year crazy like honestly thank you guys so so much like we are at 10k subscribers and i know we're gonna keep on growing but thank you guys so much i'm not really good with speeches but thank you very much we're at literally at 10k yeah so if one of my goal is say to hit say 100k i did mention in another vlog that when you set goals for numbers like this that you can't really control it's kind of bit of diff it's kind of it's a bit difficult because I can't control who is gonna subscribe to my channel. But when it comes on to like consistency and the, the type of videos that I post and the quality and that sort of thing, that is what I can control. So when I create like goals like these, I tend to focus on the part where I the part where I can control like how what type of videos am I gonna create to like bring in a bit more audience? How am I gonna kind of like capture like things like that? I tend to um do and because it's like a hundred say for example it's like a hundred k like I said then you will break that down into months or you break it down into say quarter so I like to do my goals in quarter say I want to get like an additional say five k subscribers then I'm gonna work towards that five k instead I'm like working towards like the hundred k if you get what I mean so I do it kind of like cut up bigger goals into smaller goals kind of like spread it across the year so at least by the end of the year, I can see where I'm at with achieving it type of thing. So that's why I put it into categories just so I can see each of the categories as well and kind of see like what I want to do, what I want to work on. So if it comes down to like finances, I know I need to like really buckle down and deal with like finances itself. So that way I'll go through like my yearly dashboard. I have like a budgeting thing. I'll go through like my yearly dashboard and kind of see what my spending was like um see what my spending was like each month as well and see what 
I spend most money on and kind of like reflect on that and see how I can do better that sort of thing so um that's one of the things that I do like separately as well when it comes down to like the goal and then what do I have here set a timeline for each goal break down bigger goals into smaller goals yeah so basically what I just mentioned to you guys so setting a timeline for the goals so you have like bigger goals you set timeline for them of when you want to achieve it just so you can kind of like work to that date so if you say even by the end of March or so March 31st you want to gain or you want to lose so I'll, in my case I'm going to say March 31st I want to gain at least 3 kg then I need to work towards that get what I mean at least I give myself a timeline and I have that timeline in my head while I could say I want to gain 3 kg but there's no timeline so I could probably like keep putting it off because I just say I want to gain I didn't tell myself when or when by so yeah and then next thing after I'm done doing all that planning that sort of stuff then I go into like creating a vision board um I do like creating vision boards but I didn't have like a physical vision board this year this year I did make vision board on my laptop and I also have it on my phone screen as well and with the vision board this year I did make two so I think like the beginning of the year I did make one and then I did make another one say like the middle of the year so I had like two different vision boards for this year you can also make vision boards for every month or every quarter depending on if how you set your goals so if you set your goals like quarterly then you can have like a quarterly vision board just to kind of like stay focused on that sort of thing so you don't lose track um and just have that vision board there to just look at things that you want to achieve um i love having mine on my phone um because i just see it like all the time sometimes i'll just have a look at it just to kind of like remind myself and that's the last step that i will take and from there you do the work from there you do the work you don't just leave it because it's just not gonna happen if you don't do the work you have to do the work you know so that is what i'm going to be doing and those are the steps that i'm going to be following over the next say, coming days that i have time off to like focus on this the good thing is i've already put my goals down i just need to i'm no like i'm gonna like remember more stuff so i'm gonna put other stuff down you put it as big as it can be as small as it, as it as small as it is whether it be to drink more water or to remember to take your vitamins like put it down so yeah that's me just rambling on and sharing with you guys i hope you found that helpful i'm gonna show you the artwork should i show you the artwork now it's kind of like in that corner i have to turn the light on as well let me see if i can show you <laughs> don't judge and you're not allowed to laugh okay you're not allowed <laughs> You're not allowed to laugh. You're not allowed to judge. Just, just look. Let me get it. I'm definitely gonna put like a solid color on it. I did like the way I painted the green and how the painting job is, but yeah. Anyways, this is the artwork that I've done. You can see it's like a woman's body. Ouch. It's like a woman's body here. And I did mess this up. That's why it's like that. So I kind of put like those little flowers in because I didn't know what I wanted to put. I don't know why the, the green painting is looking so bad on camera. It really doesn't look that bad in person. But anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, it was really fun while I was doing it. I really had a lot of fun doing this and it was very, very therapeutic. I also mess up this part. That's why that's like that. But I'm going to get some paint and I'm just going to do like a solid piece of artwork not too sure which color yet let me know if you guys have any idea what color i should do maybe like pink like a bold pink maybe i can do like this pink or that one that would look nice or maybe like that pink would look nice too i'll definitely say like if you want to do something creative and you're you have the urge just go for it if you feel like doing painting as well just grab a canvas and do your thing uh, maybe don't grab one as big as I did if you don't know how to paint. <laughs> um, but yeah, just go for it. I, I, it's very, very therapeutic. It was nice. Let's open some advent calendar, shall we? It's day 19. It's day 18, 19, and 20. Can you believe it? We only have five days until Christmas. I can't wait for it to be over. Let's open Revolution Beauty, day 18. I think this is kind of like a pencil oh a makeup brush we've got this makeup brush day 19 
another brush okay more like a concealer brush you know when you use that like underneath your eyebrows and stuff i think that's what that one is for day 20 Ooh. okay we got a translucent baking powder cute mine is actually finishing so this come right in time the thing is i don't know if it's good i've never used this one before but i'm gonna give it a try and see how it works okay so that's it for revolution beauty we're gonna open keels so day 18 please be a lip balm because my lip them dry right now oh it's a lip balm we got this one from keels i do have a, like a lot of lip balm here i don't know why my lip is so dry oh this one is sealed should i open should i be even opening another lip balm right now with the amount of lip balm that i have that's open I don't like the applicator it's like that you know lip balm you want have the applicator that you can just put on your lips this one you have to kind of take out and put it on your own lips it smells like ointment but it does feel really like nice on the lips like a medication type thing a 19 oh this is my favorite face mask literally i got like a mini version absolutely love this face mask I have a big one that they sent to me as well. So I still have that one that I haven't used. And I have one that I had just have for ages. I've still been using that for probably like a bit too long. Probably expire. Day 20. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, vitamin C. I'm literally running out of vitamin C. So this comes right in time. This is perfect. Powerful strength line reducing concentrate. Clinically demonstrated to decrease appearance of fine line wrinkles and improve appearance and texture with 10% pure vitamin C. I wonder if it's like more of like a cream rather than like a liquid. Oh, this is what applicator is like. Oh, it's yeah, definitely more of a cream. I love a liquid vitamin C though, but I'm going to give this a try. That is it basically. That is day 18, 19, and 20 from both Revolution and Kiehl's. I'm going to probably end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also leave comments down below. I love seeing you guys in the comments. And again, thank you so much for 10k subscribers. It's only up from here, honestly. But I love rocking with you guys. I love creating content on here. So thank you so much. And I'll be sure to catch you on Friday. Bye.